Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to an RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to show you a few um, interesting things that you can do with the extrude node inside of Houdini. So for starters, let's drop down a grid and then we are going to hit P and then I'm going to drop down and extrude a poly extrude. Then on the poly extrude, I am going to select instead of connected components, individual elements. And what's cool about this is that it will allow you to, you know, you, you got a grid and affect each individual polygon instead of like the other way around. Like if you select connected, it's going to only select the ones outside here, but if you do individual you see how cool it is gonna um, affect each individual poly separately. So that's the first tip that I wanted to show you guys. So how would you go about like isolating this and this, like the inside and the and the edges? So a few things are cool. Output geometry groups is going to allow you, uh, allow us to output um, all of the groups here. So front, back, side, front, boundary, etc. So what does that mean? It means that if we middle click, we have an extrude back, extrude front, and extrude side. So um, drop down a color here. And uh, let's see. So if we select extrude front and we turn this into primitives, you will see that we now have access to the inside um, as well as if we wanted to do like extrude front uh, extrude sides it will give you access to those areas um, that means that you can actually do a delete and do extrude sides and get rid of them and have control procedurally um, on the middle um, pieces of whatever kind of geometry and shape you want to tweak all right guys uh, so that was a really quick tip that I wanted to share and I'll be back with more